Okay, second video of the day. I usually don't do this here, but I'm so excited about what we're doing for our clients and our referral partners, especially in this marketplace. It's so hard to get deals in. It's so hard to, you know, basically there's seven offers on a house or whatever. Uh, if somebody's got a cash offer, usually they go to front of the line. So we're, we're looking at a lot of different things that we're doing. And, and we looked at uh, as a company and as a team, you know, this is something that, that we've been doing all along. Basically, when we pre-approve somebody, um, we really take them into, you know, take their file and put it into underwriting. Uh, and, you know, it's, 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 you know, it's officially called TBD, to be determined property, but we get a full underwrite, okay? So right now there's a lot of time where people don't take advantage of it. So when they have a pre-approval, then they wait, wait, wait for the contract. And then all of a sudden it's like three or four weeks later. Uh, and then all of a sudden, then they start the process. So what we're doing right now um, is well, I've been doing it for years now, is, is pre-underwriting the file. So basically what that means is that once we have the pre-approval, and let's say the pre-approval is just a simple pre-approval. Somebody's, let's just say he's a school teacher, he makes X amount of dollars and so forth. It's not self-employed income or anything else. What we do is after the pre-approval and get them going, we take their file and then we get all their docs from the client and they usually get it to us pretty quickly. And then we submit it down to underwriting. Now, underwriting uh, at a lot of other places takes a very long time. Us, it takes about 24, 48 hours. So within a day, maybe two, if that, once we have all the docs from the client, we, we basically should have an underwriting approval. And it's just short of pretty much like a mortgage commitment. A mortgage commitment is basically everything's been approved and, and you know, there's a contract, there's title insurance, there's home insurance and, and all that. But basically, it's, it's just like that. It's almost like a mortgage commitment without obviously the contract, title, and home insurance. So what does this do for the client? It gives them a huge edge, okay? And what we did, we, we decided to put a name behind it, okay? And, and put our money behind it. It's called a uh, contract closing assurance. I'll post a picture in the comments section. And what that means is basically, it's been through underwriting, it's been analyzed already. It's pretty much, we've done everything we can on the front part of it, it's good to go. Because I'm sure you've heard of and other people have heard of the week of closing, things blow up and so forth. That doesn't happen with us because we do this on the front end. Uh, now, if we screw up, which we normally don't, but if something happens and, and, and somebody makes a mistake, because people do make mistakes, hasn't happened to us, I can't remember, years and years and years. Um, you know, as far as the financials are concerned, that's why we vet everything on the front end. But if something does happen, and let's say you as a buyer put $1,000 on a contract, and we screw up for some reason, and then we can't do the deal because of financial, not because of appraisal, not because of, uh, you know, somebody quits their job or something else like that. It's on us if it's financial. Uh, basically, what we do is that we will double the escrow earnest money deposit. So if you put $1,000 on a contract, we will give you $2,000, okay? I don't think we'll ever have to pay that money, but this gives insurance to the public People who haven't used us yet, people who use us really come back and come back because they understand how we operate. But basically, if you don't, this is something that, that we're going to mail out to our clients. We're also going to email it to them and to their referral partner as well. So when they submit an offer, they could submit this with it. Okay? So this is official. Basically, it's income documents, assets, credit. Everything has been analyzed. Okay? And we feel from our underwriter who's, who sent this back to us, they give us a CCA. Okay? A contract. Uh, closing insurance approval, meaning that yes, this this has been fully analyzed. We're good to go. Okay, so we're gonna, we're gonna be mailing these out to the people as well, so they have a hard copy. But we're also gonna be emailing it to them and also send it to their referral partners. Okay, let me know if you get any questions on it. Super excited. It's, like I said, it's something that we've been doing, but I just want to put dollars behind it. Okay, so to to match our mouth. And then also uh, give you something in writing. So when you submit an offer, this has been through underwriting. It's pretty much ready to go. It's just right there with a cash offer. Cash offer, okay. You know, that's some, you know, that's that's one step up, but this is pretty darn close to it here, okay? If any questions, comment down below, shoot me a private message, or text me at 423-262-9229. Have a great day.